Tfila, Tzedaka, Charity, Done Together, Prayers, Prayers for the well-being of everyone, all this, together with Tzedaka, will certainly bring the ultimate Geula, the ultimate safety and security for everyone. I'm sure that you've had the experience. You had a guest over for Shabbat meal, or you yourself were a guest at a Shabbat meal, if you're not so familiar with Jewish customs. And you notice that uh, before we start the meal, there is the Kiddush, and then there is the challah bread, two breads for that matter. It's cut, and then it is dipped in salt. And you probably wondered, why dipping the challah in salt? The chal is so tasty as it is. Why do we need to add salt to it? For that matter, it's not only the chal that we should, Shabbos braided bread, that we dip in salt, but every time when we make a moitzi, we'll make the blessing over bread, saying, Hamotzi lecha min the one who has taken bread out of the earth, we should always dip it in salt. Why? Jewish customs, each and every one, has meaning deep meaning and sometimes even deeper meanings. So let's discuss a little bit the salt. And the reason, as we yesterday we spoke about the salt on the sacrifices, what's the reason for salt at the table, at the moitzi? So listen what it says regarding the vision of Ezekiel Cheskel and Novi when he had the vision about the Beis Amikdosh, about the future temple. There it says the following. Hamizbeach eight sholish ames gavoya. The altar was wood, three cubits high, the orkashtaim ames, and its length two cubits, etc. And then it says, I daber lie, and he spoke to me. In other words, God spoke to me. Zea shulcha nasher lifne Hashem. This is the table that is before God. He, talk, he talks about the Mizbeach, about the altar. How does the table get in here? Mizbeach was not a table. They didn't eat at this place. So the Talmud explains. When the temple stood, the sacrifices brought on the altar would atone for our shortcomings. Now, that unfortunately we do not have the temple yet, we'll have it any moment. It says, Shulchan doyme le Mizbeach. The person's table upon which we feed guests, we feed the poor. This is compared to the Mizbeach, to the altar, and this atones for him. So if the table is like an altar, the food eaten on it is like the Korban, and therefore we should behave at the table. And as we have spoken yesterday, with every offering we had to bring salt the four dimensions of the salt. And therefore we, we add salt to the staple of our food, bread. Even if the bread is so delicious with our taste, nevertheless, we add salt. Listen to what Kabbalah says. Beautiful thought. The Hebrew word for bread is lechem, spelled lamed ches mem. The Hebrew word for salt is melach. Mem, lamed, ches. The same three letters, just in different order. Lechem, according to Kabbalah, represents God's kindness. He's feeding us, a staple of our life. Melach represents severity. Remember the, the wife of Lot, when she didn't listen to what the angel told her, and she turned into a block of salt, that was a severe punishment. So what we do is, we dip the bread into the salt. Excuse me, we dip, yes, we dip the bread into the salt. We don't sprinkle salt on the bread. We dip it into the salt, so as to transform, to show that the bread, is, the kindness of God, is more powerful than the severity. And in fact, we dip it three times. Why? Because 
the numerical value of bread or salt, lechem or melach, is 78. 78 divided by 3 is 26. 26 we know is the numerical value of God's name. The Tetragrammaton. To remind us that the bread that we eat, everything that we consume, is coming from God. That we are being nourished by God nourishing us. And therefore, we dip the bread into the salt. So my friends, hopefully any second, we will not just dip the bread into the salt, but we'll bring the salt on the sacrifices in the temple.